In this tutorial, I want to look at the user experience of Moodle Rooms from a mobile device. First, using the mobile browser and then later on in the dedicated Moodle Rooms mobile app. So let's start by having a look at the mo mobile browser as compared to a desktop browser. So to the left, of course, is my desktop browser. To the right is my device. Happens to be an iPhone 6S Plus. And you'll notice the immediate difference between the two is the position of navigation. So in the desktop browser, the navigation is superimposed over the uh, banner at the top. And so if I click onto, for instance, responsive design, and then in the mobile browser experience, it's hidden under this little hamburger menu to the bottom right. So if I click onto that, the navigation pops up and I can navigate through in the same way. We can now see some of the other adaptive or responsive design elements. So, so in the desktop browser, we see that the image is to the left, text is to the right, whereas in the mobile browser, that's linearized down the page. And that's good design because it means that the content fits the device. As we move down to more complicated layouts, such as columns and grids, in the desktop browser, it's a three column layout, and in the mobile device, it linearizes down so that they're simply displayed down the screen. Also, other responsive elements such as full screen video, etc., all work as you'd expect them. So the mobile experience is actually really well refined and all of the controls work. So in my mobile browser, if I want to edit this content, I can simply click on the edit um, pen symbol. So I've got a fully um, usable mobile experience. I can edit my content, etc., etc., all on the device. I'm going to go backwards now. Also, if I were to put my device into landscape mode, and I just need to resize things to, for you to see that, you can see now how the responsive design works to accommodate the new layout. And so now I've got the repositioning of text and images because there's more horizontal space to allow for that. All right, so I'm going to now swap into the mobile app. So here's the Moodle Rooms version of the Moodle mobile app. So they've gone on to customize the standard Moodle mobile app. It's been rethemed, but functionally it's very similar. Um, again, you've got a hamburger menu to get you into the main uh, Moodle mobile features. I can go to my courses and then navigate into the demo course. And at this point onwards, actually the user interface experience is quite different. Uh, so the various sections are collapsed and I can go through those. So perhaps the most obvious difference is the way that the mobile app presents content. So um, if you see the on the right hand side in the mobile experience, various sections of content, actually their labels, have been collapsed out of view. So this columns and grids corresponds to the columns and grids here. And you'll notice in fact that the content in the mobile app is one click away. I need to click onto that in order to bring up the content. So in terms of it versus the mobile browsing experience, it's a little less immediate. The other thing, because we're in the app, is we have none of the editor control. So I can't use the mobile app to do any of my development work. However, there are some distinct advantages to the apps. Most obviously, I think, is the uh, messages feature and the fact that it includes push notifications. So for instance, if you go to messages, within the mobile app, any messages that arrive to you can be pushed out to you as an alert. So in and of itself, just that feature is worth promoting. 